If you've served time in the military, this is probably a part of the training that's hard to forget. Chemical, biological and nuclear preparedness. A critical phase for men and women in uniform to complete while they're in boot camp. In the Air Force, trainees undergo this necessary evil during week four of their training. Our Jonathan Cotto takes us behind the gates of Joint Base San Antonio Chapman Annex for a look inside the tightly sealed walls of the gas chamber and why it's important to have confidence in your gear. The gas chamber, a not so fun but necessary element in military training that's been in place for decades. The significance of it dates all the way back to World War I. Today, these trainees must successfully complete the Seaburn Defense Course. That's chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear preparedness. In here, trainees are exposed to a concentrated and controlled amount of tear gas. This building is much more sealed up, much more sound. It also has a built-in filtration system. So while we're in their training, the trainees get a better concentration that gives them a better experience and make sure that they can feel the proper effects of wearing that gas mask correctly. <laughs> and if worn incorrectly, trainees will feel the short-lived but painful irritation. Burns, it burns. <laughs> Once all of the gases hits you, it's like it's like a, a adrenaline rush just just hits you, and your eyes are burning and you're coughing. A proper seal on the mask, crucial for maximum survivability in a real world scenario. This is one of the fundamentals of operating in that overseas environment. We never know what enemy forces could use. <laughs> and as unpleasant as it feels. This trainee says it's been an overall positive experience. Blink, breathe. I mean, it didn't feel too nice in the moment, but I think if I were ever deployed in any kind of hostile environment, I would absolutely be prepared and trained to do what I need to do to protect myself and help my wingmen if need be. Part of the reason why this training is so important is so that trainees can establish what they call mask confidence. They need to trust that their gear will work if they ever have to use it. We learned all about how to check everything, the insides and the outs, make sure everything's secure, done properly, so I am fully confident. If I were to play tomorrow, I could do what I need to do to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.